Okay, folks, now as I promised, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to scan something in. Uh, before you take it into Illustrator to actually trace over it, you want to start with Photoshop. So what I'm going to do here at this point is I've already have Photoshop open, and I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Import, and you may have some Twain drivers. I'm going to use the uh, WIA, the uh, these Windows uh, supported drivers that actually go ahead and connect to my scanner. So any scanner will work. So you know this is not scanner specific. So either use the the WIA support or Twain. Uh, to go ahead and capture your image. So here at this point, uh, we is basically just asking me, where do you want to put this? Open acquired images in Photoshop. Yes, we want to do that. We want to create a unique subfolder using uh, today's date. Uh, that's optional. So I'm just going to leave everything at default. I'm going to click on start. As you can see, it, it asks me if you have more than one uh, WIA supported device. Uh, it lists them here. I'm just going to select my C4700 HP scanner. Uh, so it's a PhotoSmart scanner. I'm going to go ahead and go OK, leave everything default here at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and do black and white picture because it, remember, this is something uh, that I want to look uh, traced as much as possible. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a preview first because I've got more than one uh, actual sketch on this page and I want to concentrate on just one. Okay, great. So the one I actually want is the crazy looking rabbit there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these nodes here and just kind of uh, place them around the rabbit. And I'm going to go ahead and do scan. And there we go. That's going to start doing its scan of that particular area. There we go. Beautiful. So here at this point, what we can go ahead and do is we can rotate the image counterclockwise, and there we go. Great. We've got a good image, and we're going to go ahead and save it for web and devices. And you'll probably hear my dog in the background. Uh, sorry about that. I apologize. Wants to take over the show here. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it as a, a JPEG. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and do save. And we could have done a few other uh, modifications to it. I'm going to go ahead and just call this rabbit underscore two. And that's the one we're going to use. And you can see I, I'd already done one earlier today uh, when I was preparing for the lesson. So here at this point, no problem. Everything looks great. If we've got a few other issues, we can go ahead and clean them up in Illustrator, and that will be the next lesson.